Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Richie and today I am back with Zala with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel. And today I'm using a funky deck and Zala's at me with some worms. Got Aliens disease. and worms. Got that new uh, Link card out here and uh, everything I can do to make it work. So, I wonder we'll see. This ten, no, second. I'm going to go second. Okay. That's probably the I smart have no play. idea what I am. Yeah. Oh gosh, really? That's how this is going? Okay. Oh gosh, really? Hmm. Hmm. No good? No. We'll do that. Because why not? Okay, so this works for me, I think. Uh oh. We're gonna animate a supply squad oh. Ooh. Activating a Dragonic Diagram. We'll pop our Dragonic Diagram on our Nephis. I feel and like you're gonna win this. We'll add uh, this card to my hand. Yeah, you might be winning. Hmm. <laughs> um. Yeah, let's mm -hmm. do this. Mm -hmm. Bring out our our Angamizid and banish this. Okay. <laughs> And I'll attack you. Deal. Great! Fantastic. It's a really great first hand for me. I had a right. really bad first hand, and I don't think the deck's that great. I had a really good great. one. Okay. Really, that's how this is gonna go down, huh? Hmm. Alright, so oh, yeah. I, I can make a play. The tuna doesn't the look like a bad card, it just looks like one you don't want right away. No, no, the, the um, Ammonite's the best card in the deck. But yes, not what I want right away. Yeah. Let's go with the glow up bulb. Oof, okay. Hmm. Oh gosh, I can't do this actually. Wow. Actually, could I do it like this? I'm gonna get weird out here. Interesting. Oh yeah, let's try this out. Oh, really? I lost my Future Fusion? That's a big card in this deck. Going for the oh. Needle Fiber. Okay. You're making some plays. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Then, okay. Let's go for a little bit of this. You need like three? Oh, like four? Yeah. That's where we're going. And I mean, it's play. It's, Yeah, it's not really what this deck's about, but it's a play. Yeah, I mean, I'm 32. Can you? It's bore load. Yeah, you can quick affect it. Oops, accidentally reducing your attack, but I just wanted to do this one. Rawr. Okay, that kind of sucks, but it's Yeah, okay. it's bore load. I just really tuner spammed you here, but... This deck does rely on it. Sure. Activate Nephis. Yeah, it's annoying. Why are you trying to chain another card? I don't want to bore load you. Ooh. A little offering okay. to the snake deity out there wasted. What do we have in here, then? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I can do to that now because that was just really good. Yeah, bore load is bore load at the end of the day. I like actually it. don't think I can really do anything. You want to trade? This. I mean, I, I could think. stop you from trading, but I'm not going to. I'm going to let you. Because you don't gain anything from trading here. Because True King goes away at the end of the turn because of bore load anyway. So let's just make sure you don't get your uh, Sacred Phoenix effect off. Okay. And then we'll do this, and then my turn. Alright. Uh, that Barlow play was really good. Yeah, it worked out. Just because I, I had tons of tuners that. at the ready. Um, yeah, let's just, uh... Yeah, let's try to get some damage in. Alien Kid, smack it. Sadly not. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's something you don't see. Oh, wait. You, you shut up. I got you. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, bore load. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna hit me with that then. 
Yeah. Mm. I can oh. say his name again, but it's just Borlog. It's all that's coming down to right okay. now. Okay. Send you away. Leave and then. Crap this, I guess. Can't really do anything though. Yep. Damn it. All my plays at the beginning. Hey, I got future fusion oh. now. Sweet. Not that I need it, but. Borlo, just. We understand you carried this game. Just continue to do so, please. Hey, it's really just a needle fiber bore load play there, but sure, it's in the deck. <laughs> All right. Rematch. I'm gonna go. Let's try first. Okay. Let's see how. I really don't think out. first turn helped me at all, but. Hmm. Ooh, okay. I like this hand better already. I'm gonna pop you. I'm gonna I don't pop like this you. card, but it's okay. And. I like your consistent supply squad. You run on three of those? Yeah. I mean, Thanks. it just works in the deck because sure. draw power, it's a continuous spell card. Yeah. All so. right. We are going to go for Warm Zex. Activate his effect. Uh, okay. Then I'll let him send a Yagin to the graveyard. And when Yagin's in the graveyard and Zex is the only one on the field, they can be buddies. You do a little okay, bit of that. Goes face down. Yeah, we could go a little tricky tricky here. I think I will. We're gonna swords. Prime Oh yeah, I don't turn myself face up. I forgot that part. I thought it was gonna be gonna be super tricky. Oh well, we'll go for the future right. fusion. Future fusion's coming out. And we'll just go for this. I'm hoping I can make some. Some plays I was planning on happening beforehand. It's not gonna do anything for me right now. Eventually. Looks useful. Yep. Nothing crazy on my side of the field yet, but future fusion's certainly gonna help me. Swords will certainly help me, so. If you just pull twin twisters, I'll be so upset. Who uh, runs standard twin twisters anymore? <laughs> what do I wanna get rid of is the question. Name. Nothing. You have all good cards. It's a sad one. Ooh. Ah, Uriah. Oh, I want to see that come out. So that's one of the reasons backfires in the deck. Um, it can be. Uh, let's see. Oh man, you had to ditch Ash Blossom and Uriah. That's rough. Yeah, it's not ideal. It's not ideal. Yeah, oh baby. Well, that's not exactly what I'm looking for right now. But here's the fun part. So we're gonna choose the big dude. And now, uh, let's go crazy, shall we? Let's do you, and you, and you, and you, and you. How many worms do we have? Um, do we do oh, all man. of them? Yeah, we do yeah. all of them. Uh, okay. All right, what else can we do? We could actually get really tricksy with this. Um, so, that's not going to help me any quite yet. That's not going to help me any quite yet. Well, we'll start with being really annoying and doing this and sending your him back to hand. Yeah. It's just mean, isn't it? that one. It's real mean. I should have banished that card. I could have. So much. I could have. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, uh. Since we might be getting that guy out. You go for a shock frame. Yeah, he's light. We're gonna go King of Feral Imps and get another card searched. Yeah, I think I want to do that. Because then I might be able to still pull this out. Ah, no, because I need to... Because that future fusion is going to go off next turn. I got a mighty frame right now. Have I normal summoned yet? No. Yeah, you just did, didn't you? Yeah, I did, yeah. All right, we're going to have to do the... You know what? This ain't bad. I want to get the full setup here. So let's go for this. King of Feral Imps, activate, pull. Um, we'll just attach that. So we can pull a nice standard Shock Trooper to hand. Um, or it could be a kid, but let's do Shock Trooper because that's the standard. All right. And I think my play right now is to... Because I don't really care for the damage. Let's Soul Charge. 
Oh. And let's get that. Let's just go for big people, because why not? And that. And one more. I'm sure that could be useful later. I'll pull three. Still don't know what I'm doing, by the way. I'm just clicking cards. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, I should actually put that over somewhere else, but this is fine. And now, can we go into this? Yes, we can. So let's do this guy. And this guy. To go right here. And then let's end the toy. Will I have swords next turn? I really hope I do, otherwise it was a little wasted. Okay, um... Activate this. Alright, sounds good. Add you. Add you to my hand. And tribute you. Bring out you. Very good. And okay, can't attack swords. Hmm. Mm hmm. That's a problem. Now you. Ah uh, man, I think I'm gonna lose swords here. Am I? I don't remember. Now you got one more. Don't... Oh, it's over for you. I got the dream combo. Peach fusion's gonna do something. Yeah, well that's gonna do this. And now. Actually, I don't know if I can make this full play this turn. Unless I can field one of my cards to my hand. Let's start by popping this guy's effect. Okay, so this thing's uh, cool. Yeah, he's really cool. Let's start with the draw. Hey, another future fusion. Not that it's really any useful. Let's see. Let's see, send one monster on the field to the graveyard. Yeah, sure, I might as well. Let's banish you, get you out of here. And now what do we do? Yeah, I guess I don't... None of these monsters get destroyed, so the magpie is just not doing anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I can't my really tripping back to my hand, and then Ignis Heat just got sent, not destroyed. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I can't get the full play out. Um, but I can still do some fun stuff. So let's do this. He can just special summon another alien, or, or rather another uh, worm, face down. And then I can go for... Can I borrow load using this guy? No, I can't use them. Could always use alien shock trooper. He's not really that good. But yeah, I'm not going to be able to get my full play out. What else can you activate? Banish this. Oh yeah, no, he can do it as much as he wants. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Let's just let's just finish the game, shall we? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Didn't get the trifecta out, but still, What's just worm trifecta? zero. Um, worm getting Golgar out as well. Oh, Golgar. He's okay. he's the main alien jam. When the okay. uh, worm zero is the main worm jam, so this is an alien worm deck combo. Okay. It's funny enough, the alien shock trooper mighty frame works better with the worms. So, trying to make that work. Yeah. Definitely Even though he's based off an alien better. card. Yeah, second's probably better. Um, ooh, real we Oh, jeez. Triple copy of a card right here. Hmm. Um, let's do this and this. So this is a more interesting hand. Okay, yeah. So we're going to start by normal summoning our volcanic rocket. Activating nice. its effect. Oh, man. Gonna allow me to grab a blaze accelerator. Oh, uh, what's gonna grab? This one. Yep. Standard. Okay. Set so you. Activate this. I'm still trying to pinpoint like what this deck is. I mean, I get it. It's all fire, but it's interesting. Supply squad. Um. Yeah. That's all I'm gonna do this time. Don't battle. Well, I'm gonna give you some A counters, buddy. I don't know what that means. Well, 
few good things. <laughs> For one, it means I can send one of these boys to the graveyard. And okay. also, yeah, oh. you, you lose. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Yep, you're, you're like welcome. Oh, all right, in the battle phase, darn it. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's what was that based damage. off of? That's what he does. So when a oh, yeah. fire monster is destroyed by battle, a card effect. Oh, yeah, effect. that's what Sunburn does. Damage. Sweet. Still battle phase, too. Now I can attack. At least you got an A counter on you. Might be able to utilize yeah. that later. Yeah, but my hand right that. now is real weak. Well, this is one of the new cards. This is the reason I started building the deck. Okay. Sunburn. The sweltering so lucky. Yeah. I see it. So I'm going to pop this. this. It lets me search a card. So if you can stop it, do it. Yeah, I can. All right. Very good. So I'm in a bad way. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we're just going to do this. Because I drew it again. I'm going to play that on you. To give you some more counters. We're going to activate the Blaze Accelerator Reload. Oh, gosh. Again, continuous. Yeah, what should I send to the graveyard now? If I send this, you get mud counters. So why not? Okay. What do the counters do? Um, you lose 300 attack and defense for each counter. He'll run the blaze accelerator again. Yeah. And we'll activate this. Oh boy. This one. Now we're seeing this side blade. of the deck. Yeah. I mean, the problem is I don't have the other cards that go with it, so. Mm -hmm. Now keep in mind you are going to have less attack than me here. Hey, what? Because the A counters. It's during bat damage calculation. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I assumed it would, like, <laughs> tell me. Pop out oh, another gosh. Squad squad. <laughs> and we'll end our turn there, I guess. All right. We might have a shot here okay. to take advantage. Um, okay, so we pop another one. <laughs> Let's try this again. And then I can get this guy. Ammonite. This is going to be good for you. It's not going to be like the full Golgar combo, but I'm going to get Golgar to the field, so that's good. This is a tuna and two level fours. It's level five, but level nine. Yep. Uh, can I get anything else out? No, not really. So, let's just. I think we go straight for Golgar. Yeah, this is really the main jam of the deck. Just check this out. You're going to get annoyed by this part. Okay. It's back to hand, so it's not the end of the world, but it's annoying, yeah, like, isn't I it? Yeah, I can't just redo the whole thing, so it's not that bad. But you get mm -hmm. A counters. Yep, which he can use to great effect later on. Yep, but... I just read it. Okay, yeah, so but... yeah, he's pretty decent, isn't he? Yeah, Golgar's fine. And the best part about him is like when you have continuous spells and traps on your own side, such as Swords of Revealing Light, you send it back to your own hand, and play it again. Oh. Endless Swords of Revealing Light. Yeah, that's so, good. That's why that's in this deck. Also, I have Fiendish Chain in here, too. Same reason. Um, direct attack right. chain. Yeah, let's do that damage. Yeah, I'm going to take some damage here. And yeah, it's not the end of the world something. yet, though. Yeah. The attack power from the, this deck isn't crazy, crazy. Obviously, the Worm Zero is powerful because I banish half the cards in my deck to bring him out, but. Activate. Yep. Go ahead, activate everything all over again. Activate. Yep. Activate. Set. Well, at least I'm making you set the traps again. Um. And set. Oh, my turn. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's see what we want to do here. Yeah, that's very good. Um, so, still no cards in hand I can really utilize, but I think I got the win here, so. Let's start by destroying this. Oh, wait, no, I gotta destroy a face up. Oh, wait, no, I'm just removing my counters. Never mind. Ooh, I got scared for a second. So let's do that. Activate this. All right, very good. Forget what that does. I should have popped it away first. Got some pops. Drop double supply squad. <laughs> very nice. 
Well, I don't think it's gonna do anything for me because. Oh, okay, yeah, you don't have anything on top of it. This All right. is rough. I could clear out your field, but let's just go for the win here. This is the this is the thing I was afraid of with the dead. Mm. There's a lot of spells or traps, and I was afraid to draw them all, and that's all yeah. I have. Nine cards right now. We'll give you a chance to come back, because I like the concept of the deck. It's just, it seems it needs, to be a lot. I, I'm thinking the first thing I'm thinking is, I think it needs desires. Yeah, I think that's fair. It's got a lot of throwaway. I think it needs desires. That's fair. I hate to agree with you there, but it's... Yeah, desires wouldn't be a bad plan. I'm trying to build something fun here. Just needs a couple things, I think. Okay. Needs a bit more consistency to it. You know what? Since I think I got a decent play for here... Actually, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do this. Alright. Okay. Pop you. Actually, there would have been no line. harm in me going a little deep there, but whatever. No. Pop the Dragonic. Activate the Dragonic. Sending away this. We can grab ourselves. Yeah, let's grab the Ignis Heat. Good stuff. Pop out. Obviously, I'm a fan out. of mixed decks, but so far it seems like your deck's quite all over the place. I mean, it has an idea to it. Yeah, no, I see the idea. It's just, just it's hard to really enact those ideas sometimes. Yeah, I'm still definitely needs a little bit more consistency to it. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. Okay, now I have a reason to make this happen. Unexpected die. No. Ah, jerk. I got nothing. Oh, I didn't sorts. want to use that, but it's fine. Oh boy, I was really hoping I was about to have the Golgar Swords combo. Yeah, I mean, I think I just want to. Yeah, I just want to end my game. <laughs> yeah, you're funny. You're funny. <laughs> I think yeah. I just want to. Uh, what's that? What's the rest of that word you're trying to say, man? Okay. Still not there. I'm gonna wait. Um, okay. Oh. Well, I'm gonna activate my True Kings for ten. Just gonna chill there for now. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna set yeah. you down. And, and One downside of this deck, it has a lot of worm tribute monsters, just so I can get like the numbers popped off, but right now that is not being very good to me. Um, so I'm gonna so have to- So part of the deck when you don't get what you need. Yeah, I can do a little bit of this and this, so why not? I'll have the uh, Blaze Accelerate reload. There you go. And I can drop some counters on you. It's not going to make a huge difference here because that drops you down to 21 if I attack you. Uh, but that's not uh, mm -hmm. quite enough. Um, so, what do I go for here? I can do Hip or I can do Shock Trooper. Don't really have Alien or Worms in the graveyard yet. I'm going to do Hip Hoshing him. Just in case. Okay. Sure. All right. That's good enough for me. But did my egg count still go when that card's not on the field? Um, it's when you're fighting alien monsters. So, oh, yeah, against hip, right now. you'd be fine. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the eight counters are a really weird specific mechanic that there's, like, a lot of contention about. I know Mario is always confused by them. Um, comments are often, you know, this way and that way about them. Just because, like, they <laughs> have a system that it says on some of the alien cards, but not all of the alien cards. It's weird. Okay. What do I want in the graveyard now? Not you. Not you. Hmm. Yeah, I'm wondering how this next turn's gonna go, because I feel like this is the big turn. Put you in the graveyard? Okay. And... Hmm. You got a lot of cool, like, pyro cards in here that you don't always get to see. Trying to figure out what I want to do here. Mm -hmm. Sword's still up. Hit punch again. Even if it gets destroyed, I be benefit off it. Yeah, I think I just want to. Quite smart. Swords are gone. Hold. Which means my Golgar play is for null. Uh, I'm definitely going to use one for one here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, I probably shouldn't have done that, actually. Um, I guess I can still go for, um, like, a glow up bulb. I was about to bring out like the ammonite, but I need to normal summon it to get everything I need here. So let's do a glow up bulb. 
I don't know why I put it in that very important zone, but I'm fine. So Ammonite comes out. And with that, I can go for a nice, juicy, uh, well, level four, specifically. And now, I think I should, I should probably crystal needle fiber using hip potion again. Now this is going to be good, isn't it? It's decent for me. Start with this. Get the boy out here. Okay. Yeah, I should probably utilize that attack power I have on him first before I get rid of hip. Um, because that's going to be some damage. And let's go ahead and return all these. Do you get anything off automatically when you play Draconic Diagram? Or is that just no. once a turn? Yeah, I thought so. No, once a turn. So we'll pop all this. It's going to be kind of annoying for your trap cards at the very minimum. I don't know why I gave it to yeah. him. Yeah. Kind of, you know. Um, I will activate this now. Take those counters off of you, even though I didn't need to give the extra counter. Destroy yeah, you. Ooh, not bad. I still have the damage. damage on you, but... 1,200. That definitely slows me down a little bit. Okay, glad I didn't switch out Golgar for anything, because I think I can still kill you. I don't think it's your dead. thing has any effect that you can't... Yeah, no, no, sorry, not by um damage. Just okay. kill the uh, Solar Calamity. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry to scare you. <laughs> I was going to uh, sound like, what are you about to do? <laughs> yeah, you have one card in hand, boy. What you planning? <laughs> Uh, so yeah, let's just go for the battle phase, and then we'll switch out some guys for some other stuff. Kill that. Use your damage. Uh, do I live hip? Or do I go for the, um, Crystron Needle Fiber? Because if I Needle Fiber, then I can get Glow Up Ball back. In fact, I really should have done that beforehand. Um, I think while I have the opportunity, I should do this. Because then I can get... Seems like a good idea that we can go for the jet synchron then obvious uh, yeah you know, i could have done bore load before i don't know and if i had yeah, boro sword in this deck that would have been game but yeah i don't mind bore load he's a good dude okay i don't know if i can beat this and we're good yeah bore load's just one of those good like semi-defensive plays as well Pop out the draconic diagram. Yeah, put all your cards back down. Man, <laughs> I'm realizing right now how annoying <laughs> this deck is for a deck like yours, so dependent on it, spells and traps. Uh, let's go with this. Okay, so you can at least get some stuff out. Set you down. Activating you. Very good. Chain another card. What are you trying to chain? <laughs> you think I'm bore loading right now? That's crazy. Bring up my Animazid. Let's, uh, banish your bar load. Oh, you're good then. Yep. And Forgot it did that. Yeah. Let's destroy yeah. your Golgar. Mm -hmm. and Very and nice. Ten. Since I don't have a Golgar right now, I can't pop that effect. Um, yeah, we're looking pretty weak right now. Um, I got a Jet Synchron to protect myself for a turn. Let's give you some A counters, because that might come into play later on. Uh, yeah, yeah. And we'll send, you know, let's give you a ton of A counters. Let's be real mean. Six. Yep. Okay. Then I'm literally just doing this so I can. Oh, wait, I need to discard that. It's fine. I'm not going to actually use that from hand. And we'll pop this guy out specifically so we can get a nice little defensive link rebo. I'll take that. I'm going to pop my two kings of 10. Oh boy. I'm doing okay right now. Okay, sweet. So we're gonna activate True Kings for 10. We're gonna special summon my other Agnum is it. Ooh, defense mode though. Okay, he goes to defense mode. Oh wait, no, that doesn't matter. I know. Oh no. Oh no. For some reason I can't summon him though. Oh really? That's nice. Interesting. Ah, I can't special summon for the rest of this 10. So I oh, summon. sweet. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Hmm. That's very good. Um, I'm still in trouble, though. I can get a Golgar out next turn, but... Activate this, though. Pop this you. Way. Grab Agnes Seat. Oh, boy. Uh, what do you do? Do you... Yeah. 
pop you in. We can grab this in the grave. Um, do I want to do anything with you? Do you? to all right right now right here right now get rid of this bring out you pop your king returns effect it's pretty good destroy itself shouldn't have done that <laughs> that's the part that i don't do and now i wasted it all right in cool. all fairness getting true king's return off the field is probably pretty good for you um because i'm about yeah. to another golgar out here um oh and you didn't even go for a battle phase either so Link Rebo is just chilling. Because Link Rebo. Well, yeah, but you could have gotten rid of him, at least. You could have forced the effect. Yeah, I mean, what I wanted to do there is just not use the True King's effect. Then I would have done the battle phase. Yeah, fair enough. And that would have right, done so damage. Go for Ammonite. That can get out another level four. Yeah, so he's just an instant Volga. Yeah. Ammonite is, as I said before, like, I've been the drawing him early game deck. here, which isn't the best, but he is the most important card in this deck. Um, ooh, actually, I could try this card out and do some fun stuff. Maybe. Oh, God, I can kill my... You can kill one of them, which is good. Why, you can kill... Yeah. Because you can um, only pop that effect once decide a turn. which one you want to destroy, the defense or the attack. Yeah. Um, yeah, considering I already popped my... Uh, did I already bore a little this game? Yeah, you did. Oh. I managed him. Oh, you banished him. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, definitely Golgar is the only way to go here. And he is an alien card, and you have six counters on your boy here. Um, so I'm going to first go ahead and return. Get one more counter in play here. No. And we're going to remove counters off you and get rid of the other guy. So you still have the four counters on you, reducing your attack power. Oh, that's that's the difference right there. Pop in that. You take one four fifty. Oh man, and I can't pop it. If I had just uh, destroyed you before putting the counters on people, I could have facilitated the win there. But yeah. Okay, so now we can do on a diagram. I went for an attack there as well. Oh well. All right, now let's pop the dragonic diagram. Pop you. I have the Ignis Heat. Yeah, it's yeah, a real rough spot right now. Good. Pop out this. Battle oh, baby. Fate. Perfect number right there. Get rid of this guy first. Okay. And then we'll destroy him. Yep. Yeah, funny thing, Cosmic Fortress Golgar doesn't technically count as an alien monster, even though he's summoned by him. Oh, and now I draw Fiendish Chain when I just had Golgar out on the field. A reptile. Yeah. I mean, rep aliens are reptiles in this, but... Oh. Yeah. Well, I it's just, I could, it's, it's a really... because he doesn't have alien in the name. Yeah, exactly. It's, that's the thing with the archetypes that I found out. Yeah. If the Japanese name doesn't have the word in the title, then it doesn't <laughs> count as part of the archetype. That's... Yeah. That's the whole deal with them. Yep. Weird. It's one of those weird things. All right. There was a card that. that I was like, "Why is that part of that archetype?" Just because it has the word like fusion in it or something. Can't remember exactly what card it was. Mhm. Mm so I can stall out here, but I need to draw like another ammonite, and I know I used two already. Okay. I think I actually is this one of them where I set one at the beginning like a dummy? Yeah, it is. All three ammonites are gone. I need monster reborn to make it happen here. And you draw a monster reborn right now. <sighs> Future fusion, but I need one more turn to make that really count. It's over. Yeah. I'll backfire. Yeah. Future fusion's right. like the best card in this deck too, because Worm Zero is phenomenal. But there you go. You get at least a win against me, so that's good. I wasn't expecting to do so well against you, but I guess by nature, like I counter spells and traps, and you use a lot of spells and traps. So. Yeah, that was kind of the idea of the deck. That's why there's a lot of continuous spells and traps in here. Yeah, it's... and I love that Uriah is in there just because why not? There's yeah, I mean, it's a fire traps. monster, so I can use it for the true kings if I don't want it. I don't feel like it's a smart traps. choice in the deck, but it is absolutely a fun choice in the deck. That's what so. I went in building this deck. Exactly. You know? 
meant to be fun. Might take Same thing for this deck, too. Because, obviously, like, mixing worms and aliens, there's potential here. There's some fun plays. Like, in that first game, I almost had the trifecta out there, but there's a lot of weaknesses here. So oh, yeah. It is like, what it is. any competent deck would probably be able to get around that really easily. Oh, yeah. For sure. <laughs> But thank you guys for watching this. If you have enjoyed this, let us know what other decks you want to see face off against each other in the near future. Subscribe to both of our channels. Leave a like on this video as well as some of the other ones. And we'll see you next time. I almost just spilled my drink. Safe.